stream disconnected. Let's see, is the new stream up? It working okay I think it's working yeah it's working all right let's let's hope this is working properly now <laughs> uh, all right hmm. so when I sensed intruders in the ruins I came only to ensure that the gate remained closed that and to secure the treasure I wish only to forget the rest. Melina has passed since I last saw her, but Archdaya, I see you Archdaya in memory still, clear and vivid. Hmm. Vitra's grief for a lost sibling is no mystery to Estanian. His hath her been alive and twined with sorrow. They not only managed to expand the feature, but manipulate it as one might a gate. Is there any chance she could learn how this feat was accomplished? Vishwa will tell her what he can, but he must first return to the High Crucible and arrange to replace the Guardian's wee sword handily destroyed. <laughs> Oops. Is this place right underneath Ratzat Han? I wonder if this place is right underneath Ratzat Han. So crowded. I shall impress upon the Lobrids that the treasure vault is incomplete without daunting sentinels to test the metal of any would be intruder. <laughs> I promise we'll discuss the Void Gate further, but I must first attend to the matter of the Vault Sentinels. Kapikulu has been reduced to scrap. Please bring a new one out of storage. <laughs> Was it Tomb Robbers? Fiends born from the Tower of Zot by the sisters do not tell me a blasphemy yet roam free. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> it's our fault. <laughs> No, the gate is still functional. Mm -hmm. The little door you speak of leads to an abyss teeming with unspeakable horrors. In its current state, it would only admit the lowliest of void scent. Elfuno would fit, given a firm enough push. <laughs> Physical size is only one consideration. Huge re the true restriction hinges upon the etheric density of the soul in transit. Yet you succeeded in expanding this diminutive portal and sending your simulcrum to the 13th. Hmm. After much experimentation, they accomplished the impossible. A method conceived by which his magic could manipulate the fissures and transform it into a serviceable gate. But the process has long been forgotten. Ah, it must be like a thousand years ago or something. My, our own passage to the 13th was made relatively simple thanks to the crystal tower. Ancient mechanisms channeled by the power's last, the tower's fast store of energy open a void gate. Ah, uh, but the portal's connection has been severed. Uh, theoretically possible to reconnect the gate by forging a new pack with another void scent, but such deals end in death and betrayal. <laughs> to see if the legends were true. It was all Astinian's idea. Oh man, as much as I want to shit on Astinian, it's really just my fault. It's my fault. As you have seen, the fabulous wealth from the story is quite real. If not its rumoured origin. But I'm afraid I must assert a prior claim. I've been adding to the truth for years, little by little. But the time has come to spend it, I might alleviate my people's suffering. Then we are of one mind, we have no intentions of taking it for others. So that entire vault is really... It's really Ratzat Han's reserves. Huh. Alright. Ishtola would like to research it. Alright. Alright, so I still need... No, um, Orionje is heading back to report the little operates. Raha will be back to cryo. Okay. Alright, so it's just me and Estinian again. You may now undertake the Chronicles of the New Era quest, Myth of the Realm. I enjoy I hope you enjoyed the expedition at least. Otherwise it was a heavy purse to pay for a treasure map, leading to a treasure we cannot keep. <laughs> All right, let's discuss. Let's talk with Vitra. Meanwhile, elsewhere.
What is this? Is this in the 13th? I think this is in the 13th. Is it Diablos again? Five thrones. Who is this? Throne of Earth. I sense the breaching of a gate. It was not instigated from this side. It was thrown open by the other. Throne of Fire. I felt it too, a rare occurrence. But such a tiny portal is beneath our notice. There are more pressing matters at hand. The opportunity is upon us. Coming of which we have waited for nigh on a 10,000 years. We dare not let it slip our grasp. Throne of Wind. We must not underestimate he who bested the Cloud of Darkness. Even restrained by a covenant, the Cloud was no feeble wisp to be dispersed by some flesh and blood mortal. Throne of Water. Bah, let him come. I will drown the world and watch this fleshling grasp for the breath in his final moments. Night in Black. Your zeal is admirable, but do not forget our cause. Think back our struggle beneath this sunless sky. Remember why we see not our will to fight. We set this war in motion, win redemption for our star. x -Death? That 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 guy looks like x -Death. Shall we begin? If we are to spend this treasure wisely, we must first determine which groups would benefit from our monetary assistance. Some of my citizens find it intimidating to speak with the satrap directly. I would ask you to act in my stead. Visit Akyali and Yelimad. Speak with Matsya and his people, listen to their grievances. Astinian will do the same at Palakar's stand. Vashan will conduct his own inquiry at the Giant Gaul's ground. Alright. Once we've ascertained the needs of the populace, we reconvene at Megaduta. Alright. It's off to do a survey then. No, actually, you know, instead of doing this right now, I think priority, let's unlock. Let's head over to Osh Island, unlock the Alliance Raid. I have about an hour before. I believe it's an hour. Like I heard the raid is um Wait, let, let me let me check my FC Discord. Are we supposed to do it now or are we supposed to do it in an hour? Either way, I'll teleport to Osh Island. Alright, so it was postponed to 9, so I have an hour. Alright, let's prioritize unlocking the... We're gonna 
prioritize unlocking the what do you call it? The alliance raid. Once we do that, I think we'll be done for today. We can. I'll probably stream again tomorrow or day after tomorrow. I can't find the NPC. Where is he? Uh, over here, fresh face student. A mission in Mordona. Ah, uh, this is Cryo's mission. So that was what Cryo was talking about earlier. Alright, so the both of us, the two cats are supposed to help you out. What do we need? Alright, some background. Our organization, the Students of Baldeasion, was founded by her grandfather Galuf. Yep. Uncover the mysteries of Hydaelyn and interpret her will. Since we've learned the whole truth, we've fulfilled our mission, but our work is far from over. In the course of our endeavours, we have sought to devise countermeasures against threat that comes to light. Our involvement with the Warring Triad is an example of such. It is my belief that in continuing out to seek unknown and dealing with threats, we best carry on the student's mission. We honour those we lost when the Isle of Fire was destroyed. Okay, okay. Now, this is just our new purpose in the new age. Reviewing new requests, one in particular jumped out at me. None other than Rambrose, sons of Saint Cognac. Ah, back to the Crystal Tower. Lies beyond the sun's expertise, uncharted territory. Huh. We meet Rambrose and conduct a preliminary survey. Alright, back to Mordona, I suppose. Back to Ravenous Toll. All right, so we'll be waiting for Rambrose over here. What's up, bro? Good to see you again. Alright, Explorer came to us. Claimed to have discovered the Phantom Realm. Hmm, what is this Phantom Realm? A lesser known legend. Across the Eorzea exists a realm that appears a mirage, visible from a distance but fades away as one draws near. Hmm. The realm is real. You see for it for yourself. Hmm. It 
Seek out the explorer, Derek. Okay. And the banks of Silver Tier Lake. Alright, alright, alright. Baby Opo Opo. Huh. That's so cute. That's adorable. The Opo Opo isn't our adventurer. <laughs> So cute. Found him injured on one of his journeys and tended to him since. Ah. Preliminary survey, let's go. A gate to a realm long dreamed by explorers. Adventure, uh -huh. let's go. Oh, this makes it the second alliance raid we'll be hanging out together with Raha on. He's walking on water. Hello, Jesus. It's just like Uriandre's spell. Hope you don't... I hope we both don't just drop in the water. <laughs> Is this a gate? Whoa. Oh. Huh. A hidden gate right at our doorsteps. Raha, you go first. Huh. Wow! This place looks just like Elpis! Oh, 
Wow. Om Velos. Wow. To think the entrance would lie over Silver Tear Lake. Nothing out of the ordinary with the environment. They're all as they should be in nature. This place is no illusion. Welcome to the navel of the Phantom Realm, Omphalos. A name by my own conception, I confess. I felt we needed to call it something. Lest you wonder, the word means navel in an ancient tongue, an allusion to Mordona being in the heart of Elden Heart. Man made structures, the place appears well kept, yet there isn't a single soul in evidence. It's my hope you will help me shed light upon this realm, to learn who created it and to what end. I should like to know why it has revealed itself now. Was it simple chance that it was kept hidden or something more? Let's begin by having a look around. Mysterious monument. Stone monument has been erected here by whose hand you cannot say, but the motifs wrought at the base appears familiar. It's the symbol of the twelve. The Opopo seems quite at home, wouldn't you say? How many times has Derek come here, I wonder? Hmm. Number of structures seen in the area, what purpose could they serve? The architecture is unlike anything in Eorzea. Truly exquisite stuff. How does this game do it? It continues to inspire wonder, imagination, exploration, fantasy, wonder. Is that a crystal tower? That is a crystal tower. That barrier, what is it over there? Over there in the distance. Huh. Okay, let's do a quick run around and see what's in the distance. Mostly mountains. Is the barrier thing Azizla? I don't think it is. Oh. Other than the crystal tower and that red, that structure, that orb structure over there. Is that a flying fish? The fish is flying. Are you supposed to be flying or are you supposed to be in the water? Huh, it's a flying fish. Is 
It's an owl. So cute. No other landmarks in the area other than that over there and the crystal tower in the distance. What does it mean? Hmm. Can't help but feel I should be remembering what that is over there. Huh. But there it is, that's the crystal tower in the distance over there. Curious. How curious. Considerable distance above Silver Tier Lake. Hmm. We are displaced from our world, but even so slightly. Yeah. Each of these buildings represent one of the twelve. Alright, are we going to bring the Sons of Korinok up here? Confer with Cryo, make the necessary arrangements for a formal investigation. Mm -hmm. Let's return to Charlene. Hold the mortal! Whose voice is that? Wow. You profane this sacred realm with your very presence. You must answer for your irreverence. They are the twelve. 
Bio God the Builder. Let there be no doubt, we are not Simulcra born of mortal faith. They are not... They are not primals. We are twelve divinities true. In Highland's absence, we are the star's rightful rulers. It's will. Closely we have watched mankind. We have determined that you, champion of Hydaelyn, pose a threat to our ascension. You were foolish to wander in our realm. We could destroy you with ease here and now, but as divinities, we must demonstrate grace and forbearance. But there is one path. We must weigh this mortal's worth. Let there be a trial. Why would a mortal would invariably be destroyed? It would at least provide us a diversion. Why? They're not benevolent? Why? Why are they doing this? Why do they seek to rule us? Show us the strength of mankind. Show us the honor of mankind. Show us the spirit of mankind. If man would remain master of his own destiny, assemble your comrades and come. Prove your worthiness. Huh. They mean to take over the star. Hmm. The Twelve has been long revered and worshipped in Eorzea. Myths about them abound. But to my knowledge, they never thus appeared so openly before people. Surely, for these beings to suddenly reveal themselves while we are here, claim supremacy over the star and challenge Tian to a trial. Too much of this feels odd and gives me pause. Gaius and Belsa once said the twelve two were simply primals. This is turning out to be another strange affair. Whatever they are, if they're issuing a challenge, then challenge accepted. In any event, if these beings seek the dominion over the star as they say, what happens here may have far-reaching implications. To that end, I believe we should take action. Suffice to say, you are with me. <laughs> then the students are bowed as and will officially tend to the situation. I, in the course of studying the star's mysteries, we have take, undertaken to deal with any threats that may arise. This is no different. deliberate our course of action. What do we know of these sanctums? Domains in the Phantom Realm lies beyond each gate. He has explored them all? Wow, okay, you're fast. 
Due to etheric instability, there are times one can enter when one ordinarily cannot. It appears the, w the way has been opened for us. He encountered no gods in his previous forays, but saw enough to know his way around. A humble explorer cannot contend with gods, but if we protect him, he will be our guide. Alright. Assemble your comrades, by God, bait us. We must choose an approach that affords us the best chance at victory. To that end, I will work behind the scenes while you set forth to answer the god's challenge. I will do what I can as a capacity as a student. For one, it behooves us to arm ourselves with knowledge of the Twelve. I shall begin by apprising Cryo of the situation. Thus utilizing our resource to the fullest, we shall overcome whatever trials await. <laughs> it's time to slay more gods. <laughs> All right. Gonna hit back to Oshalena. Supposedly, EX3 has been released as well. There we go, the Wandering Mistral. Ultimate tool is a space where emotions dictate reality. It seems to me in such a place it would be nigh impossible to draw a line between what is real and what is felt. In nature there's a phenomena where the structure of a massive object may resemble something diminutive. Might it not be possible then that a sea of stars resemble that of heart and mind, of complex mechanisms that govern our feelings? On this assumption, I am led to wonder, what is the true nature of N Singer? What exactly do you defy at the edge of existence? These are wild ramblings of a minstrel. Pray, do not lose sleep over it. I must say, the idea of an entity that hoards despair has roused my imagination. Had N Singer succeeded in gathering but a few more stars worth of despair, nay, even that of a few more souls, might the outcome have been different. I believe I shall explore such eventuality in song. Light of hope enkindled by your comrades, brilliant. Alas, stars, alas, so dark is the despair you face that not even light can pierce it. 
an exonerable verse of oblivion performed at the farthest reaches of existence. I shall name it the end singer Zarya. Alright, I think I'll end the stream here, I'll continue the MSQ either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Ah, uh, alright. Gonna end the stream here, take a piss and prepare for the Alliance Raid off stream. I'll see you guys next time.